gosh. Tara Hope welcomed another presidential candidate to town today. A packed Indiana theater saw Donald Trump speak for about an hour this afternoon. We begin our team coverage of Trump's visit with News 10's John Swanner. He was inside the theater where there were reports of people having to be turned away. John. Well, Melissa, there were quite a few people turned away, even though the Indiana theater holds about 2,100 people. Now, the first man in line, though, get this, was in line at 1.30 this morning. And those who also got in were treated to vintage Donald Trump. So amazing, so amazing. The audience nearly blew the roof off the Indiana theater when Donald Trump took the stage at one minute before one. You know, we were doing really, really well in Indiana, but then I brought out Bobby Knight and look at these polls being... It was the first of many cheers from the mostly pro-Trump audience who clinged to his every word. The time has come to admit that Republican voters want Donald Trump as their nominee. That's it. He did get booed once. In Massachusetts, I almost broke 50 percent. Well, Tom Brady likes me, so that's good. That helps when Tom Brady likes you because Tom, Tom is a great guy. Nah, don't, he's a good guy. All sports figures aside, Trump did get down to business, specifically targeting Indiana and how it suffered since the Great Recession. Terre Haute. We love Terre Haute. So let's talk about Terre Haute. I'm, I'm going to make you a little bit depressed, although I will tell you we're going to bring it all back. You've lost one in seven jobs, manufacturing jobs since the recession. That's only in 2007. Labor force in the city as nearly 8,000 people smaller today than it was 25 years ago. Terre Haute was the first to hear more on Trump's foreign policy plan summed up in one phrase. I'm worried about one thing, America first. We're going to put America first. But the old favorites were not forgotten. We will build the wall. Believe me, 100%, we're building the wall. So why stop in Terre Haute? Trump made it clear. If we win Indiana, it's over, okay? And the question is, can he get a predominantly Democratic county to cross over and vote on Tuesday? We're going to make America great again. I love you, Indiana. Get out and vote on Tuesday. Thank you. Now, we streamed the entire event online at WTHITV.com. And if you missed it and want to hear what Trump had to say for yourself, that's also on our website. Back to you.